Hello and welcome to a Claes Hunter 1 tutorial. This is my website codefreaks.co.uk. On Codefreaks you can post questions or answers about any of your coding problems. That's web or desktop and includes Blender. If you have any hardware or software problems you can also post them too and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. That's codefreaks.co.uk. Let's open Blender. Now today we're not going to do a normal tutorial. I'm going to show you a few different tips and tricks really. So if we delete our default cube, pressing the X key and press enter, and we'll go to front view, number one, and we're going to insert a plane, so space add mesh plane. I'm going to grab that and just move it to the side. We're now going to press tab and press space, add mesh plane, and we're going to grab it and move it so it's right next to the other plane. Now we're going to press tab again. As you can see these are two separate objects um, so if you're ever in a situation where you need to be able to edit both of the objects at the same time you highlight them both by pressing shift right click um, and then press ctrl J and it says join selected meshes and you can click that. So now they're one object so you select them and deselect them together if you press tab, they're both together, and I'm going to show you something else now that's quite useful. If you've got two vertices really close together, like there, and there, if you deselect all of them and just select these four vertices, and say you want this to become one object, one plane, um, we're going to go down to the bottom while we're in edit mode on our buttons, buttons window, and we're going to do something called rem double which is remove duplicates of the selected vertexes as it says in the pop up there. Um, it won't work at the moment because the limit is too low so if we just pop that up to about 280 and there you go it says remove two after we've clicked rem double and as you can see it's joined our mesh so now it's it's one singular plane. Now we're gonna make a new document so we're gonna press control X and select erasal. We're going to delete our default cube, so press X, erase selected objects. Press number one on your keypad. Um, press the space button, add mesh circle, and we're going to put the vertices down to three. And press OK. Now we're in edit mode if we just right click on one of the vertexes and press the X key and select vertices. We can drag these vertices around like this and let's make um, an outline of a water fountain for example. So we're going to press the E key to add another vertex and again until we get a nice water fountain shape. So that should be fine like that. Now if we select our last vertex on the top that's in the middle and press shift S and click cursor selection so that will put our 3D cursor exactly where that vertex is. Now if we select all of our vertexes by pressing A key twice and we'll go to top mode by pressing the 7 key and now we're going to do something called spinning so this means we're going to spin our outline of the water fountain round our 3D cursor so we'll get a nice 3D shape this is how how many degrees um, we want it 360 and how smooth you want it so we'll just pop that up to 15 and we're going to go spin and as you can see if we edit our angle we've got a nice water fountain sort of shape there um, and we can do a few different bits and pieces with that. I hope these tips have helped. Uh, keep checking back soon and we'll have some more tutorials for you. Thanks for watching.